do we have here? Probably a case. Come on. I don't want to damage the packaging. Be careful. Yes, my friend. This is the original Poco case. There we have it. Pretty hard. Very nice to give you a case. Okay, let's put it aside. It's a bit heavy for me. We have a USB type C cable, two USB type A cable. That's the QR code. Can I can I get it in focus? Scan it if you want. Pause the video if you want to scan it. Okay. It's on the camera. I don't know why it's not quick with the focus. And the charger, which is let me see, let me see how many watts? Uh, 33 watts European charger huge brick and that's it no he no headphones oh that's unfortunate okay now let's see the phone itself how oh, you can see plastic item previous button Double tap to activate. This button is a power button, it has a different color regular like you can see. There's a volume buttons. I don't know what this is, probably antenna. Microphone and headphone jack. This is a pop-up camera. I think this is an ear blaster, another antenna, and another antenna. And on this side we have a SIM card tray, USB Type-C, and single speaker. Another two microphones. And of course we have those four cameras. Now which one is which? This camera. First one is a 2 megapixel depth camera. This one is the main camera, 64 megapixel Sony camera. This one is ultra wide, 30 megapixels, 123 angle. And this one is a macro, 5 megapixel telemacro camera. And of course, flash. Let's see what do we get. Very nice screen. Look at it. It is smooth. Now what kind of pre-uploaded application we have? We have all kinds of different apps. Netflix, a lot of apps, eBay, games, AliExpress, tons of them, tons. Tons of different apps. Let's see the camera. If we go to camera option, we have a different effects, sound effects. And visual effects. And we have photo, 60. 4 megapixels, very nice. Settings, watermark, all kind of different. Sh anyway, portrait mode, night mode, panorama mode, pro mode, photo. Even we have a macro photo. The macro photo is just insane. Look at it. I don't know if you're able to see it, but. Just insane. We got it, we got it. It's also available in video. 
macro video Whew, insane okay in the video options we have 8k available but not simple 8k look at it 1080p 4k 30 4k 60 8k 30 frames per second front facing camera how's it looking insanely good Oh man, incredible. Now is it fixed focus? I think it is. Now this is beauty mode maximum settings. What do you think? I'm all beautiful? I don't think some obvious mother. Macro video. Oh, this is a movie frame now supposed to be looking as a movie it's shaking huh. is it look like a movie <laughs> I know you need to better the angles and everything and uh, lots of edit but this is raw a raw thing That's a nice subject, right there. Is it autofocus walking? Yes, it is. Benchmarks. Very nice score. Now let's uh, go find some games. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's go to settings. What do we have here? Graphics, extreme, everything enable. Full screen video. Look at it. Insanely nice. Look at the quality of this video. Now there's only one speaker, so we can easily block it. Now, conclusion, well, it has only one speaker, two speakers will be better. But it has this super extreme high-res uh, software, which will give you an impression that it has a two speakers. It's very strange, you, you have to listen by yourself, just go to the store and check it out. It's very strange, but it's very nice. Now, it has a beautiful OLED screen intense screen let me just swipe it up oh you can see no notch anything I like it and I like the this is awesome I love the idea whoa 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 this is insane it would give you extremely nice photos in low light they are just insanely good better than any flagship 8k video with 30 frames per second even the samsung galaxy s20 ultra has only 24 frames per second this is better than samsung galaxy s20 ultra in 8k way better well 
not stabilization. Stabilization is not that great. But you can stable the video in the post-production software. So no worries here. So great camera, good for gaming, long battery life. I love it. It's the best smartphone for the buck. 500 bucks compared to, compared to a different smartphones which are thousand dollars or even more. Galaxy S20 Ultra is $1,400, so f almost three times more expensive. This is just a killer. It would be a hit in the world. Thanks for watching and goodbye.